Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these beautiful Christmas red earrings. If you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea to subscribe because you know a bracelet tutorial is coming and also a ring tutorial is coming which will be done especially for the members of this channel. If you don't know about Bijuteo membership, you could check description or the join button to see what you get if you decide to become a member. Thank to all of you that support me guys, you are my inspiration. And another thing I want to tell you is that in description there is a Facebook page where you could share pictures of your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. Also please like, share and comment, this is a great and an amazing support. Now without further delay let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are three colors of 11 all seed beads, red, golden and green. And here I'm also using 48 of those beautiful golden 8 toe beads, 24 per earring. And these are earring findings in golden color. This is Nylon Island thread that is 0.3 millimeters or size D. And this is size 11 beading needle, you could use size 10 or 12 similar sizes and these are scissors and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys and I'm starting my work by picking up two of those beautiful eight-o beads. I'm going to slide those down and now I'm going through the second one of them back in circle, just like this. Then again through the first one of them. And here guys, what I want to do is to make a knot and I'm making it by making a loop and going twice with my tail thread through this loop I've made. Then I will make just one more knot to be sure it's all tight and secure. And then I will go like this. And I will cut my thread. Okay, my friends, now I'm going in this bit and I will take one more eight-o bit, going backwards in circle through it and again through this bit. Then I take one more, go back through this one and again here I have four in a row and you might want to go and reinforce them as you add them to stay in a better shape next to each other, the sides touching and the holes pointing in one direction. Okay, then I add another one. Again, what I do is that I go through the newly added one, backwards through the one before, And again through the new one. I take another, go back like this, through 
through the newly added one, backwards through the previous one, and one more time through this bead. Okay, guys, now I want to have 24 of those beads added in a row. I will do this off camera and when I have 24, I will be back. Okay guys, and when I continued adding beads, now I have 24 of those beautiful beads. And what I want to do next is that I want to connect the first one and the last one. Okay, I'm exiting out of this one here in this direction and I want to connect it in circle with the first one that I added. So I go back through the first one like this, then through this one. You see I have a loop between the first one and the last one, you see. And I pull. And I want to go one more time through those beads. Okay. Now I want my beads to turn in this direction, but it will happen naturally by adding the edge. So how I start? I'm starting with adding red, golden and red bead. I go backwards through this same bead I'm exiting out of. Okay. Then I want to make a beautiful flower here. Don't worry that now it is soft and bends. We'll fix it later. Okay, then I go backwards through the same one. And also through one of my red beads that I have at the side here. Then I take five red beads. Okay, five of them. And as I'm exiting from one of my reds here, I go in the other red and also again in this HO bead. Okay, now I have this beautiful flower here. Then I go in the next HO from the center to the outside. I take four golden beads, slide those down and I don't go through the first one of them but I go through the other three beads and through the ato that I have here okay now I have this in my next step I'm going through the following ato taking three green beads sliding those down okay then don't go through them but go through the eto that is beneath them okay then I go back through the ato, through one of my green beads, and I take five green beads, five of them. Then I skip this central green bead that I have, guys, and I go through the next one and backwards through this ato that I have here. Then I'm going in the following ato, take four golden beads, slide those down, <coughs> skip the last golden, and go back through the three goldens and through the previous ato. Then go backwards through this ato here. 
I take red, golden and red. Slide those down. Skip this red, golden and red and go directly to the HO that I have. Then go backwards and through one of the red beads. Take five red beads, skip the central golden one and go through the other red. Then go in the neighbor ato. So this is the same element but with different colors. Then I take four again. slide those down go back through these three skipping here the last one and through the ato pull then I go in the neighbor ato now it's time to add green because I'm alternating a red flower, a green leaf. Okay, and I take three. Slide those down. Skip those three and go back through the ato. Then again I go back through the ato. And through one of the green beads. Then I take five green, skip the central one and go through the previous green. And then in the neighbor golden. Okay guys, and I will continue doing this until the end, adding red golden green golden red golden green alternating them like this and i'll meet you here okay guys and if you work correctly up to here you added the right amount of beads this is what you should have and this is my last 24th bead where i'm adding my last four golden beads and if you work correctly also the green and the red should meet. If not, start over please. Okay, then I'm skipping here the last golden and I'm going backwards through these three and through the eight hole in the middle. Okay. And what I want to do next guys is go back again through all of those beads like this and I'm going to add six golden beads here you see six goldens and I'm going in the next four goldens and the eight after that don't worry that your work is still soft especially if you work with Nymo thread uh, if you work with fire line, it should be harder, but it will get stronger anyway by going a lot of times through my beads. Okay, so this is the, uh, the arch I want to do now. Okay, now I want to make a thread repositioning in order to make my next arch. So I'm going in this ato and in the following green bead after that. Then I go in the green here, in the center. I turn my work the way it's easier for me. And I go through the green and through the following atoll. And through the same atoll. Okay, 
now I change directions because I want to be exiting through these four beads in this direction. In fact, these five beads because there is a NATO before these beads. So I'm exiting like this. I take six golden beads and I go in the following four. 11 of goldens and through the 8 of golden I have another arch. Then I want to make again repositioning. Tra I'm going through this 8 of here. Then through this green one. Through the green one in the middle. And backwards through this green one and through the same atoll. In this way I'm changing direction. Also making uh, my element stay in a better shape and turn in the right direction. Then again, I go through the atoll on through these four beads here that I have. Again, I take six eleven o's, go back through these four and through the following atoll and pull. And then again, guys, go through the ato and through the green and reposition. Then I go through this green and through the ato. And exit through these five beads, the ato and the following four beads. Okay? And now, guys, I'm going to continue this until I finish this row and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and I'm here at my last step and now half of my arches are ready. Now I want to do similar thing as I did before, but this time I'm going here in this bead, then I go in the central golden, and in this red and in the atoll. The idea here is to turn directions and to make my flower stay nice to this side. Then what I want to do is go through this ato and through four more golden beads. And I want to add seven golden beads. And as I'm exiting through these four, I'm going in the next four and in the ato after that. Okay, and I pull. It is absolutely the same thing that I did in the other direction, but this time I'm adding seven and I'm going through the red one to turn directions instead of through the green one. So I go here in the neighbor ato. And I'm turning directions, guys, through going through the red one, then through the golden one, and then again through the neighbor red and through this eight golden. 
but now I'm already in this direction because I want to go in the neighbor one and through the four after that. It is similar thing that I'm doing. Absolutely the same but in the other direction and going through the red instead of the green. I'm also adding seven instead of six. This is the other difference, okay? And now I go through these four and through the eight o after that. Okay. Then I'll show you one more time how I'm repositioning. I'm going through this bead, through the following, through the golden in the middle, and I turn it. And now guys, I'm going to continue this absolutely the same way by adding more and more seven beads. And I will form the arches around the, the green leaves here. And when I'm up to here, I'll be back to tell you how to finish your earring. Okay guys, and here I am at my last step where I need to add my last seven beads from this row and I'm going again in the same way through those four beads and through the a two. If you feel your work is soft you could do additional reinforcement. Then what I want to do is again turning directions And I want to go one more time through those beads. And since here I have seven beads around the red ones, around the green ones, I will go through four of them. And I'm taking a golden bead, my earring finding and a golden bead. And now I'm in the middle one of those seven and I'm going backwards through it. Then again, I want to reinforce. Okay. And after I reinforce several times, I want to find a place to make a knot and cut my thread. And how I do this, I'm going through some beads in this direction. And here I'm making a loop, going twice through the loop I've made making sure I'm between those two beads where I started the knot from. Then I go through some beads in this direction and I cut this tail thread. If I couldn't cut it really close, uh, I will burn it with a zipper. Okay guys, and now my Christmas red earrings are ready. If you like what I'm doing here, don't forget to subscribe. And another reason to subscribe is that a ring and a bracelet tutorials are coming very soon. The bracelet will be seen by everybody and the ring will be especially for the members of this channel. So now if you become a member, 
you will be able to make the whole set, including the ring here that you see. More about membership, you could see in description or at the join button. Now click on the Christmas playlist that you see on your screens and continue watching.